When it's keeping you warm and dry, you probably don't think a lot about your roof. But there's one roof getting a lot of attention in Charlevoix. It's a thatched roof, making an already unique home truly one of a kind. because we just come down for a trip and um, drove by this house and there was this little for sale by owner sign in the window. People who know Charlevoix know the Earl Young homes. And kind of said, ah, this house isn't exactly the mushroom house that one imagines. This house was the first mushroom home Young built. Just imagine this house almost immediately with a different roof on. Built in 1917, this house was in disrepair and needed help. Michael and Liz Seitz, who live in Houston, ended up buying the house, and Michael had a vision. I knew that here were stone walls and everything was going to come out anyway. If, if I was going to be lucky enough to have this property, then it was going to change, and I didn't really care. So that's why the negotiation was possible, because I wasn't trying to salvage anything at all. In fact, going to tear the roof off. So you can imagine we get back to to Houston and everybody's going, oh, nice idea, uh, are you crazy? <laughs> because who really pulls a perfectly good roof of a house? Everybody agreed it needed to be remodeled, you know, the inside was bad, blah, 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 but take the roof off, are you sure? Michael, who has an engineering background, was very sure. He sketched the roof he had in his mind. Later, he built his vision out of Legos. I had known him long enough at that point to think this is probably really going to happen because Michael is a, not only a visionary but he's able to execute his visions and I, that's one thing that I've always admired about him. The roof came off and almost everything inside started coming out. But how do you create this look? Enter Master Thatcher Colin McGee. A thatch was the first roof and material used when man came out the cave. They had a simple lean-to with leaves, which was a thatch roof, and it's uh, progressed since then. This is a reed thatch, uh, traditional to northern Europe. And in the beginning, Colin thought I was a little strange, because the idea seemed so big, I'd sent him a drawing. But then he realized, hang on, what I'd drawn was real. It's, it's very labor-intensive. It comes in bundles and it, you've got to put the bundles on the roof one at a time and it, it's, it's a slow process. But once it's done, it's good for you know, a lifetime. This age-old technique is not easy, but there are a lot of benefits and a lot of onlookers. Well, no, we were driving by because we wanted to see how they were doing on this house and we we're just like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. Oh, it's a great insulator. The roofs, if you look at the roofs, it's very steep so that the water can't penetrate. It could rain all week. It, it won't even go in an inch. It's obviously a great material, been around for thousands of years, great insulation, great long life. I mean, these roofs can last 70 years. If you keep them dry in terms of no trees dropping mulch on them, pine needles. A lot of people think it's uh, you know, full of bugs or animals. It's not. It's like I say, it's very tight. It's, uh, it's not going to blow off. It won't burn. You spray it with a fire retardant, but even if you didn't, it's very, it's like trying to burn a bale of hay. This roof is also an experience. Michael designed it to be waves. touched. Everything is a wave, they're no straight lines. So even here where it comes so low, I mean, I'm able to literally lie on my roof. And no detail overlooked on the inside. Your first view would be this beautiful big stone staircase. And when you look to your right, you've got this awesome view of Lake Michigan. Millions of hollow reeds sculpted and shaped into a work of art. Also that it felt as though it fitted, so that it was within keeping in the area, that it was within the spirit of Earl Young, whose home this was originally. A tremendous amount of passion and love has gone into this. And we just hope and pray that people will embrace it and, and love it and be inspired by it as much as we are.